Queen Snickle Fritz here. Snickle Fritz into the max, y'all. It's a super blue blood moon. I don't know what that means to you, but it means a tremendous plethora of details to me. Anyway, first and foremost, it means henna day. I like to henna on a moon day. And if you could even understand how hilarious my rig is right now, you would know how funny my life is, but that's okay. It is a blue moon. Those are real things, y'all. I don't know who named them. I'm going to say the Mesopotamians. <laughs> the Babylonians, as it turns out, I just found out, are the ones responsible for us having a seven-day week. Learned that today in grad school, yo. What up? Like I said, it's it fades uh, naturally for me, but I can still see the difference. So if you, let me see in this light. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's been such a long day. And I'm blinded with science, but look. Um, today's been a fun day. It's been a super fun day. And if you say it's fun enough times, then you'll believe it eventually. That's what Buddha tells me anyway. Um, yeah, I'm tired, but it's whatever. <clears throat> so, so life has made me gray, y'all. It sucked the joy right out of my soul. Life did. That's why Jesus made wine, right? So I got this adorable little cup, by the way, which reminds me of my dearest friend, Amy, who I'm, I love so much and don't have any time to call. But I bought this wine glass so it can give me pep talks, just the way my friend Amy does. And she says, Trudy, stop tripping. And I say, Amy, let me drink you. It looks green once you mix it up and let it develop, it turns red. So today, all I did was mix henna with coffee. to move into an apartment y'all because I'm super poor because my first husband's suing me because he doesn't want to pay his child support so I digress um my neighbors hate me a lot because I play bass and I have conversations with myself in the bathroom at 1 a.m whatevs so here's henna <laughs> you look at it you see it henna. by the way I'm bringing top ponytails back because they're hot. So <laughs> when you see people in your town wearing the top ponytail, you can say, thank you, Queen Snickle Fritz, because it's legit. It's like a new trend slash retro trend. But so I'm going to take my top ponytail out. If you're starting off with hair that is <laughs> brunette or blonde um, and you put henna on top of it let me just tell you this henna will always be red period there's no other color henna can be besides red it is red and red alone it's a natural red y'all and it doesn't fade I mean look at it okay people ask me I get stopped on the street like all the time and people say is that your natural color and I'm like yeah <laughs> but I mean it's really looks natural, you know, and my natural color is pretty much this color, but as you can see, um, life has sucked the soul out of my hair color. And so you have to like, <laughs> just as I'm going to make an analogy in the same way that you recharge your inner soul with wine <laughs> you recharge your outer soul with henna um i mixed this earlier today time out <laughs> time in <laughs> so i have a little cat and she is not the nicest cat the name i ever had she is always scratching a kid or waking somebody up or Tearing up something, but whatever. Cats. Okay. Look, that works better. All 
right, so, um, I, there's lots of things that you will hear that you can mix henna with, um, in my opinion, you don't need to put, don't put lemon juice in it, lemon juice, if it sits on your hair too long, is bad, because it's acidic, you wouldn't let, I mean, I put apple cider vinegar on my hair constantly, but not for extended periods of time. You want henna to sit on your hair for like four to six hours, so you don't want to put anything acidic on it necessarily. I mean, I use it with coffee. Coffee has acidity in it, but you don't want to put just straight up acid. Like, I wouldn't, or a milk product. So, um, I have used coconut milk many, many times before for different applications of conditioning my hair. Um, I have used it with the henna many times. Um, from all the trials and tribulations of the last year of doing henna, um, I'm going to say keep it simple, stupid. You know, it's like, here's what you want to do is henna powder, 100% natural grade henna, um, mixed with either coffee no, with no sugar, tea with no sugar, um, I like black tea, um, or just plain old water. You know, sometimes I use coconut water. Um, cause I love coconut water. It's so good for your skin, for your, yourself. Um, it's very hydrating, but mostly what I've been doing that I've really, really liked that tones down the vibrancy of it, not necessarily, but it does make it look even more natural. Um, and it's always going to look natural. I mean, you see people, <laughs> it's hard to get a good red. <clears throat> you see people with bad reds all the time and um, there's different degrees of red but if you use henna in my opinion it looks natural all the time uh, there's no way to make it not look kind of natural because it comes from a natural ingredient which is a plant you know and the key with mixing it is to let it sit so <clears throat> when you it's just the powder, equal parts powder to liquid. And then you let it set for four or five, six hours. Uh, once you let it set that long, uh, it will form a layer on it, which I'm going to show you now, hopefully. Um, can you see that? So if you do that, you can maybe see it. It might not even been long enough, but. Whatever. It's been sitting here for like four hours. I'm going to go with it. So, um, I'm just going to do it on my roots today. And here's the thing. I have to leave. I have to go on a road trip tomorrow super early. So, I'm going to let it sit overnight and develop overnight. So... I'll tell you about that later. So do you just like a split down the center. Um, if you want to be precise about it, you can use one of the little um, cone things. At this point in life, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like barely clinging to life itself. I don't even care. So look, just put it on like that. I always start with the part that's going to show the most first, which in this case is always in your center part. I mean, think about it. Even if you, even if you part your hair to the right or to the left, your center part is where most of the light's going to catch the color. Um, I do a technique. It's almost like an ombre where my tips are lighter than my roots and so if I had the patience I would have oiled my tips and possibly done some sort of protective coating to deviate from the henna absorbing on my roots but at this point I'm just like don't really care so this is what's up it's like <laughs> my canvas we're gonna see what happens so I'm just gonna put it on the roots you know my hair's pretty long, so I just want to steal an expression from my bestest friend Danny and say, What up, bichachos? <laughs>
<laughs> we're back. So, um, Hannah Knight is upon us, and we're halfway there. My phone died, but, you know, no telling what I'm going to keep or edit. Probably keep, because I don't know how to edit. So, I got half my roots hinted. Um, just do the root part, you know? If you want to do a full head of henna, do one box to a full cup of coffee. Like if you have a coffee maker, like a Keurig or whatever, can I say that brand? Um, a coffee maker, make a full eight ounce cup of coffee to a full box of henna. Or you can, you know, math it and divide or whatever and make half of the half and then just do your roots, four ounces powder to four ounces liquid um and then honest to god i just do half and half liquid and henna um i oil my roots usually but today i don't have the patience my patience um it's no longer existent you know did i ever have it to begin with probably not it's negative patience at this point in my life so uh you want to let it set if you develop it in hot coffee which i've never done before in real real hot coffee i've always done it in like lukewarm coffee but you know i was on a time crunch because my life is shenanigans and so i just put straight up boiling ass coffee <laughs> on some henna and i let it set for an increment of time that i cannot determine <laughs> i'm gonna say like four hours three hours, couple hours, few. Uh, and then I did see the separation cause it will, um, it'd be like curds and whey except opposite because the thin part will be at the top um, and the bottom will be the curds, which is probably the way curds, I don't understand curds and whey, but whatever, it set it for some minutes. And then stick it on your hair. And also, drink wine when you're doing it because um, it doesn't kill you. All right. And also, we're going to talk while we do our roots because this is called Henna Diaries. So we have to like talk about our lives. And if you want to tune out, go for it. But I feel like you should probably tune in because it's some uh, insightfulness. All right. So um, here's my wine glass. Cheers, darlings, and lots of eyelash. This reminds me of my friend Amy. And every time I trip, um, I call Amy and she tells me not to trip. It's sort of like that. So, yeah. And my life has been so shenanigans, I haven't even been able to call any of my friends. And every time I call a friend, like tonight, I talked to my friend Malia for like four seconds and my phone died because I sucked the life out of my phone. It hates me and I want to divorce it, but it's not even paying any child support. Why am I not divorcing it? Whatever, I digress. Stick that shit up on your roots. <laughs> so yeah. Like, whatever. You can, you know, you can be fancy about it or you can not. It depends on your personality type. Like, if you have a type A personality, you should section it into quarter inch root sections. But if you're like me, you should just like smother that shit all over your forehead before you go insane and gray. If you layer in it, it will layer upon itself. So don't um, expect a fade. So since I'm doing like a multi-dimensional color look, is what I want to call it, I just put it on the roots that are um, where my life is sucked out of my soul transparently. So <laughs> you can literally see my soul being sucked out through my hair, right in this area. Um, I blame the cats. <laughs> that's that's who you're hearing right now. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and blame the cats. They're good scape cats. You know, I'm not gonna blame my 